Hello and welcome to the Ignite Podcast. My name is Caitlin. And I'm Heather. And we're on episode number 44. And Heather, I'm lacking on the title for this one. I need your help. It needs to be something with curiosity. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I just put the word curiosity because I couldn't come up with anything clever. Maybe as we're speaking, we'll be able to come up with something. Okay. Okay. But first, we are going to check up on our commitments because we said we were going to do this. Last week, we talked about committing to our goals. So let's check up first. Heather, you said that you were committing to writing down some of your personal to-dos. And have you done that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely did. I will tell you that I started during the preliminary music that's playing at church. But still, I mean, I have last week's and this week's, and I've been checking things off. I'm so proud of you. Good job. I know. I know. (laughs) How about you, Caitlin? How about your commitment to be jumping on the trampoline? Okay. Oh, boy. (laughs) I want to say, see, we're checking checking about this, and we're seeing what we're learning along the way. So I realized that I'm good at kind of making up excuses in my head, like, ah. You know, maybe I'm going to just jump for five minutes this morning. I'm kind of busy. And then I found a kitten in my front yard. So that's really just thrown a wrench into the whole morning routine <laughs> because <laughs> because I have to bottle feed a kitten. And then I <laughs> it's How just, much does this kitten eat? Um, it's been eating now like half a bottle. Can you put a picture of the kitten up for this? So we can all love this kitten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe something about curiosity. Isn't yeah. that the statement? Curiosity kills the... The kitten. (laughs) This is a curious kitten, too. It's getting into all sorts of stuff. It's chewing on things. It's, like, scaling my my comforter and climbing (gasps) up on my bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So how many times does this cat eat a a morning? Like, you're bottle feeding it? Twice before I even (laughs) get ready for work. So what does he do during the day? I feel bad, but we have him just closed off in a room. We have a little water bowl. We have a little, like, dish of milk Mm -hmm. out if he wants to eat. But, yeah, he just has to entertain himself until we get home. And my husband gets home before I do, and then he'll let him out and feed him again. Do you hear him in the middle of the night? Thankfully, no. Oh, okay. So I think he's doing okay now, but he's about four or five weeks old, so... It's like having a newborn, Heather. So I'm sorry, my commitment to jumping on the trampoline, it's kind of waning a little bit. But I'm committed to getting back on track. And this is encouragement for anybody that is kind of like going astray on their goals. Come back. It's okay. Today's a new day. Let's jump on the trampoline. I'm going to do it when I get home. See? And you can adapt. You can yeah. you can change your goals a little bit to your circumstances. So. It's all good. That's encouraging that you shouldn't give up just because something, there's always going to be something that comes to stop Mm -hmm. you and be in your way. And sometimes it takes a bigger person to make that choice. Like, I just can't do that this week. Mm -hmm. Let's try it next week. So as long as it's in the back of your mind. Right. You know? Yes, ma'am. So now we're talking about curiosity. So okay. that is the urge you feel to know more about something that Love comes it. from vocabulary.com. So never you, stop being curious. Yes. Do you find that you're a curious person? Uh, about some subjects. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. What do you think piques your interest most? I know you like to know what's going on with the Jersey Shore girls. Is that oh, the, the housewives? The housewives. No, not Jersey Shore. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> the housewives. Um, yeah, yeah, that's like my little yeah. guilty pleasure. But sure. yeah. I mean, that's I not know. really okay. I mean, I love to know what's going on in the world. Yes. Yes. It's- so that is really I know I'm addicted to the news. Are you? Yeah. What about you? Mm. I want to know what's happening. I like to know what's happening too, but actually I've kind of abstained from that I because know. it gets a little too crazy. It does. So it does. you got to turn it off sometimes, but most of the time my I'm so curious about what happened. I, I just, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're rooted in love. That's the theme mm-hmm. for our series. So curiosity coming from a place of love. Number one. 
to think about. Be curious about why you feel the way you do, especially when trying something new. Yeah. So my example for this was I'm trying hunting now for the first time, and I don't know everything. I want to think that I know everything. I call it <laughs> intuitive hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that the deer would get used to my scent, being in the woods all the time and just get used to me being what are you there. What talking about? That, that's what I thought, okay? I was just thinking, I didn't know. This is this is something new to me, Heather, okay? Oh, Don't judge gosh. me. <laughs> and then I come to find that really the deer have an extremely, <laughs> extremely sensitive yes. sense of smell. Yeah, no matter, you know, if you're in there, like, every day or they not, really they're want. still scared of the human scent. Yeah, so. they really want you to, like, roll in the leaves so you smell like the outdoors. Like, you really, have, honestly, Caitlin, you need to wear your dirty hunting clothes, not wash them, put them off at the door, let some rain get on them, and then put them back on while they're wet so that the deer think that you're a tree. I know this now, okay, okay? Okay, okay. But when I first came upon this information, I was a little bit discouraged. I'm like, man, I thought I knew what to do. But then I was humbled. Okay. Okay. And then I was excited to learn that yeah. you really have to be very careful with this. Okay. So now I wash my hunting clothes with what? a special detergent. Okay, okay. Um, dead down, <laughs> down <laughs> wind, and then um, we have a certain soap that also descents you. I mean, we got the deodorant. It was a whole kit that comes with descenting your body and clothes for hunting. Okay, so now I may, I do that. <laughs> Okay. It's better, but that's... So when we're going to number one then, Caitlin, and staying on this topic, okay? Okay. So why we're saying that you should be curious about why you feel the way you do. So why do you feel the way you do about wanting to learn about hunting? What's the root of that? The root is the love of the outdoors and just wanting to be in nature. Okay. Okay. So. So you know why... Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's number one. We know why. I put a check mark next to it. Number two is be curious about the daily habits and routines that you have. I thought this was what interesting. Okay, this means like, why do we wake up and yeah. do what we do? Sometimes it's good to get out of that routine. Like right now, I'm out of my morning you routine. Are. I'm a little frazzled in the morning now. And then I got to ask myself why that is. Uh, that's because I'm taking care of it. A kitten that needs bottle fed. <laughs> but I'm still, I'm trying to stay curious. This is something new to me, taking care of kitten. I'm not used to that. I've never done this before. So just being curious about the process and learning something new, I think, is just important to keep in mind. Oh, okay. So how does it, this is, <laughs> look, I sound like the student today. How does that help you being curious about your daily habits and routines? Because if, you, if you're able to learn something new about yourself or look at things in a new perspective, you're going to find new things out yeah. that you may have not thought and about before. Why you do what you do and why it's the better way. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. So you know with this kitten that, you know, you want to go. I'm thinking that you're saying that you want to go back to your routine. So wouldn't that say you know that your routine works? And this one doesn't, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's also adapting. You, okay. you have to be yeah, adaptable, adaptable in this life. Is yes, Caitlin. This is a lot. This is a lot of work. Should I not have brought brought the kitten into this? <laughs> <laughs> Number three, be curious about why you act the way that you do, and this has to deal with what or who are your influences. So say. Just say you are grumpy all the time. Like, Mm -hmm. who are the people that you're surrounding yourself with? Do they have a similar type of behavior? I don't know. That's just something to... We're just asking questions. That's what being curious is all about. Yeah, and I think that that's important when you're trying to maybe change a behavior to want to know the root of it. Because, I, I mean, there are some people that don't need to know the background to things, but... 
a lot of us need to be curious before we can change it. Like when I was younger and like, this was many years ago, but like went to marriage counseling mm -hmm. and the counselor would always be like, I was so young though. So I just was like, whatever. But now that I'm an adult, I mean, older, I was married, but you know, now that I'm an older and I'm mom and that kind of stuff, I get it a little better, but, um, they'd be like, well, why do you think your husband is that way? And I'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care why he's grumpy in the mornings. I just want him to stop being grumpy, you know, that kind of thing. But then when I realize from knowing about Brian and his habits, if I knew that he wasn't sleeping at night, that he had sleep apnea, which was something that he can't control and he needed to have a machine and he had to go to a sleep study and that kind of stuff, you know, like then I felt bad for him, but I was not in that place at the moment mm -hmm. to care why he was grumpy in the morning. Mm -hmm. But when you're curious about those kind of things, it can really lead to the solution. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, I think that's a fantastic example, okay. Heather. Very good. I have a verse to go along with this. It's from Proverbs 25, 2, and it says, it is, Oh, I love this! <laughs> it is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. So I think God really wants us to be curious and ask questions and learn new things. I love this. You know what? When you, if anybody has ever watched uh, One Night with the King, it's the story of Esther. Mm. We got to watch that, Caitlin. It's such a great movie. Um, that's what she says. Mm. Like she uses this verse mm -hmm. and... Uh, it, I don't know. It just, and I think, I don't know. This is a hard one to like sum up, mm -hmm. but I think that they're saying that it's God's, God's going to conceal and make that curiosity in mm -hmm. a question. Mm -hmm. And then if you're smart enough to actually be, are devoted enough to be curious mm -hmm. and, and like look into it mm -hmm. and figure it out then you're there like the bible's putting you at the same level of being like the highest you know like king i don't know how to explain what i'm saying that it's not easy to search things out mm -hmm. but that god is asking you to mm -hmm. is that what mm -hmm. that does that make sense it's just so well written <laughs> <laughs> I think you are on to something, Heather. Absolutely. We can keep dwelling on that. I, but. I think, well, when you are curious and when mm -hmm. you're trying to learn something, you are devoting your attention yes. to that. Yes. So if we're searching for things, if we have questions in the Bible and we're going to the Bible or going to our pastor or somebody to ask those questions, we're learning more and we're yeah. devoting our attention to it. So therefore, we're growing closer to God ultimately right. when we're searching those things things out. So it's kind of saying, I would think that God doesn't want us to be complacent mm -hmm. about things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what we're going to be curious about. I'm going to really dig into this one over the week. Okay. okay. So I'm going to look at Proverbs 25 two. We're going to find out what was happening before this verse, what was happening after this verse. So we can figure out what like better, what it means. Okay. I like that, Let's Heather. Be curious. <laughs> Do you have any comments on curiosity? I think we're going to have to go with curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> I don't want my kitten to die. I just don't feel like bottle no, feeding it. No, no. I just think like kitten curiosity or meow. Let's call this meow. Can we call it meow? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to call it meow. I mean, either. I think sometimes we just want things to be the way we want them to be. And being curious about them means we're making it more difficult. We just want things to be an easy fix. Mm -hmm. And if we start like being curious about why, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You know, like, why is it raining? I don't care why it's raining. I just want it to stop raining so I can go out and play. You know what I mean? Or like go for a run or mm -hmm. not have to wear my raincoat. But to really think about, like, it hasn't, being curious and looking into, like, it hasn't rained in, like, two weeks and, you know, things are dying. And, you know what I mean? I'm just, I know that's just an example, no, but yeah. 
God wants us to be curious and doesn't want us to be complacent. That's what I think. What Mm -hmm. about you? I think the opposite of curiosity is having a closed off mind. Yes. Just set in your ways. Yep. You're in the same routine every single day. You don't even ask questions. You just kind of go through the motions. And I think just... If anything, we can encourage our listeners to Mm -hmm. have an open mind and to explore the world because God wants us to learn and to grow and to develop. So, yep, that's very well said. I think that's what the goal is. I think that it's probably, no, I agree with you. And I also think that it, it's, talking about like in the Bible, like I've read this Proverbs, like how many times, but you can look at it differently at certain times in your life Mm -hmm. too. So maybe this week we're going to figure out a different, now that I'm older, a different way that I can look at what that Mm -hmm. counselor was trying to say to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? God always wants us to be curious about not just the world, world, but about him and what we can learn from him. And, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. so we got to be curious. Be very, curious. <laughs> very good Be the at cat. it. Be the cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you like to give us the ABCs of, of salvation? Course. The ABCs of salvation. A is to admit that you've done wrong. We're all sinners. Um, we all, no one's perfect. Only Jesus. B is to believe that Jesus died for our sins. And if you need to, if you want and you have questions and you're curious about these kind of things, you're welcome to comment below or contact me or Caitlin and uh, we can talk to you a little more about that. But Jesus definitely died for our sins, not his. And, um, and we need to love and believe and respect that so that we know you know, more about him. So C is for calling on his name by asking Jesus to come into your heart. This is something that I would like to say is that I think can happen several times in your life. I mean, recommitment is something that we all as humans have to do. So once you ask Jesus to come into your heart, he's there. But sometimes the recommitment part is important. So Ask Jesus to come into your heart, and uh, and if you've done that for the first time, or if you're a new Christian, we'd love to hear from you and help you and support you and all that stuff. So, and the ending is from Romans six twenty three: For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Love it. Thanks so much for listening, and until next time, ignite your life. Thank you.